ever notice a dark, rough patch on your face after popping a pimple or getting a cut? It's more likely a scab. It's a protective crust or tissue that forms over a wound during healing. When you scrap yourself or break skin anywhere on your body, platelets begin to stick together to form a clot. This clot prevents blood or other fluids from flowing out of your wound. Once the platelet clot dries out, it hardens to form a scab. Scabs, particularly on your face, are meant to protect the wound from germs and other harmful bacteria which also allow in time for healing. Sometimes scabs can take more than a few weeks to complete healing. In some cases, they may leave behind a scar. How to get rid of scabs on your face? Scabs will heal on their own, but they may take more than a few weeks to complete to do so. Here are some of the tips to speed scab and wound healing on your face. Maintain proper hygiene. Keep your scalp clean at all the time is important. This preventive measure will avoid further irritation or infection. If you must touch your scalp, be sure to wash your hands before doing so. Avoid scrubbing or scratching your wound. These actions can prolong your healing time and trigger scarring. Moisturize. A dry wound allows down the healing process. Keep your scalp moisturized to speed your recovery and prevent accompanying symptoms such as itching and tingling. Consider applying petroleum jelly daily to maintain moisture. Don't pick your scabs. As tempting as it may be, avoid picking or scratching your scabs. Scratching at your wound can interrupt the natural healing process and prolong your recovery. This can also cause infection, inflammation, and scarring. If your scab itches, consider using a damp or dry washcloth to dab at the affected area. Be gentle and don't scrub your scab. It could trigger bleeding, redness, or other uncomfortable symptoms. Applying antibiotic creams, topical ointments, or creams can elevate itchiness, painful symptoms, and speed your recovery. Common over the counter OTC ointments such as Neosporin can be applied to the affected area. Apply only a thin layer of the ointment to your scalp. OTC ointment or creams containing benzoyl peroxide also contain antibacterial properties that can aid the healing process. Use a warm compress. Proper healing involves skin regeneration. Applying a warm compress to your wound may trigger skin regeneration and blood flow. These properties can speed your healing process while also providing relief from itchiness. A warm compress can also help maintain healthy moisture to your wound site. Apply sunscreen. Scarring is a common concern of scabs, specifically on your face. However, protecting your scalp in direct sunlight has been known to prevent scarring and speed healing to help scar fade. In addition to moisturize your scalp, apply sunscreen with an SPF or 30 or higher to prevent scarring. Scabs are a sign of healing. They are also your body's first line of defense against bacteria and debris. However, they can take days to weeks to complete heal on their own. Some scabs may require antibiotics or home remedies to help them heal too. If you begin to experience worsening symptoms from your facial scabs or have questions on the healing process, call your doctor. That cares and yours team want you and those close to you to live a healthy, happy life. Your health is a valuable thing. Look after your health and your mind so that you can live your life to the fullest. Remember, you only get one. This video is solely for informational purposes. Do not self-diagnose or self-medicate and in all cases, consult a certified healthcare professional before using any information presented in this video. The editorial board does not guarantee any result and does not bear any responsibility for any harm that may result from using the information provided in this video.